Well, the Nationals got their guy, and now today they got to introduce him to the world. Paul Mancano here with Mark Zuckerman from MassInSports.com at Nationals Park just after the Nats announced that Dave Martinez will be the manager in his introductory press conference. And, Mark, we were both there. Uh, and what, first off, first impressions of uh, Dave Martinez as the new Nats manager. Yeah, you know, this is someone that we've kind of seen around baseball for a while, but we've never really heard it to this extent. And so I think it was interesting to get to kind of get to know him a little bit and what he's about. And what I thought was, number one, a very confident guy. He did not seem phased to be st sitting up there in front of all those cameras and uh, ownership and everyone else. But number two, a sense of humor. Uh, he wasn't afraid to, to show that side of himself. And mm -hmm. uh, you can really see what Mike Rizzo was talking about in him in that here's a guy who has a background in baseball as a grinder who played 16 seasons for, I think, nine different organizations. So he's been around the block, been a coach now for over 10 years. So he has that baseball true side of him. But he's also an intelligent, bright, stat-minded analytics guy, and I think that was appealing about him. And I think you're, you're seeing sort of this new wave of managers, and he fits into it, that both the old school and the new school are now trying to implement that and get everyone else on board with it. Creativity seemed to be the big word today at the press conference. He obviously was a bench coach under Joe Madden, who is certainly a very creative mind in terms of baseball. Do you think creativity is something that this team has lacked in uh, previous years? You know, it's one of those things that's so hard to know for sure if what, if anything, they were lacking. I would certainly say that the managers they've had in the past have been a little bit more by the book, doing it the way that it's kind of always been done. And that said, Dusty Baker was great with players, and he understood how to get along with them. And I think Dave Martinez has that side of him. But he's not afraid to try something new. And he basically his answer was, look, the analytics are out there. Why not use them? Uh, and I thought it was interesting. He basically was saying that what he's learned the last 10 years under Joe Madden has worked in two different places. Mm -hmm. Why break what's not, uh, why, why yeah. try to fix what's not broken? So I think you're going to see almost an extension of Joe Madden and the Cubs here for better or worse. I think for the most part, we'd all agree that that's been really successful. But I thought also interesting, and Rizzo talked about this after he was done in the press conference and met with some of us afterwards. Basically, he attributed a lot of what the Cubs had done in that creativity department the last few years to Dave Martinez, even more than maybe Joe Madden. It sounds like he had a lot of authority and ability to do things. And even though he is a first-time manager, Rizzo said this is not your typical first-time manager. He feels like he's essentially been managing for the last 10 years just without the title. Yeah, that's interesting. And something that we noticed at the NLDS in Chicago that Joe Madden did was have breakfast on the field with the players. <laughs> That's something that uh, Dave Martinez actually brought up in his press conference today. Uh, when you were talking with Mike Rizzo after the press conference ended, he also talked about you know how he had interviewed Martinez a few years ago, but didn't get the job then, but now he was much more impressed with him. What else besides that kind of creativity do you think impressed Mike Rizzo and this organization about Dave Martinez? Yeah, I, I think what stood out was that four years ago when they interviewed him, he was talking a lot about what he had done with Madden and almost praising more of the people he had worked for. Mm -hmm. And this time it was more about what he has done himself. And that's why I said I think it feels like the way that Rizzo described it, he's really been managing and had a lot of influence himself the last few years and taking control, even if he wasn't necessarily the guy in charge. I think also the fact that he has been with a team that won a World Series and won it under, let's remember, the most pressure that any team's going to face to win a World Series, <laughs> yeah. given the Cubs' history. The yeah. Nationals' pressure is going to be nothing right. to him. <laughs> so I think the fact that he's done that, the fact that he's now dealt with players who weren't just young, up-and-coming stars, but now established, well-known superstars like Chris Bryant and Anthony Rizzo, and he's gotten along with them. Well, we know the Nationals' clubhouse has more than its share of established stars. So I think there was a feeling that he is more ready to step into that clubhouse now and deal with everything that comes with that than maybe he would have been four years ago. Well, as a person who's been around this team for a while now and has been in the clubhouse day in and day out during the season, how do you think the Nationals and the team will handle uh, the arrival of Dave Martinez? Well, look, a lot of these guys have been through this not just once, not just twice, not just three times, but many <laughs> times before. And so there is going to be some skepticism. That's mm -hmm. just natural uh, feeling And look, the majority of those guys didn't think a change needed to be made there. So there's going to be some skepticism. But you've already seen him start to reach out to players. He talked to Sean Doolittle today. He's flying out to Arizona to meet with Max Scherzer. It's clear that that's a big part of this process for Dave 
to actually go and meet people and get firsthand one-on-one -on -one experience with them and not to waste a lot of time doing that, not just wait till they come to spring training. So I think he wants to take charge on that. And I think you will see there is, I think, among players for other players, especially guys who've played recently, a certain respect for them. They know this guy has been through pretty much everything in the course of his career. They know that he's been with a successful organization, two successful organizations. So he's not walking in here as a complete unknown or someone who has zero track record at all. Uh, and I think that helps maybe soften it for them and helps uh, start that process. But look, let's be honest, it's it not an easy thing for any manager to step right into that clubhouse, given what's happened around here and who the personalities are, and immediately uh, put your imprint on this. It, it is a challenge for him, but I, I think they are going to be open to it and now wanting to see how he handles it. The wheels have begun to turn in the Nationals offseason. He's Mark Zuckerman of MassInSports.com. I'm Paul Mancano. Nationals naming their manager, introducing him to the world, Dave Martinez.